Bounce out the front. Oh, and snagged away from his own teammate by Clayton. Clayton lobs it off to Nick, but they don't make the connection. Ball on the ground. Okay, uh, watch the red number three in the back of the pack. When the ball becomes loose, right there, she is not first in line for the ball. So she should be marking up a player. She should be marking up that light gray player right beside her. And then after her players pass it up, she becomes first in line for the ball. So she should be going all out to keep that gray player from picking it up. And she doesn't do either one of those things. Okay, now watch the player in midfield, the red player in midfield. Coming out of the area, she should be marking up the, the blue player, but as soon as she sees it's missed, she's not first in line for the ball. She should go back to that player she had been marking up and until she's first in line for the ball, which she does not do. Get caught. That brings it up. Uh, the ball is down in the field. There's lots of ladies looking for it. It's coming out of the red player that's coming out of the end zone. Uh, there the ball becomes loose, and she's closest to it for her team. So she does go for the ball, but just bats it away. And she bats it out in front of her other player. So now she's not first in line for the ball. So she should be going up to mark up that blue player that was beside her, who happens to be the player that picked up the ball, got to the ball and picked it up. Watch the red player in midfield. She's making sure their blue player doesn't get the pass. But as soon as it becomes missed, she's not first in line for it. And she leaves the player she's marking up. Uh, she does pick her up again uh, before she gets the ball and actually rides her off to keep her from picking up the ball. Trying to get it down there, but she gets a serious foot. That was a, uh, I can't tell if that was a gets hit out of the racket when there are two players up on the ball carrier. And when it gets hit out, it goes kind of right back where the other blue player was. And the red players, of course, are out of position to get to it first. But they were doing what they were supposed to be doing. Allie makes it out, but it gets a bad bounce. This field is getting torn up, especially right in the middle, along the D at the 30 and the T. That's the play, red player in midfield. She's making sure the other player doesn't get the pass coming out of the end zone. And so she's marking that person up. Uh, but as soon as the ball is missed, she breaks off from that player and goes for the ball. The other player doesn't, and she just picks it up nice and easy. Okay, watch the red player that is hitting the ball out of the blue player's racket. Right there, she hits the ball out. It comes out kind of to her right. She turns around toward it. And then, when she bats it out in front, and, and she's first closest to it, instead of just turning her horse on a hind end and going to it, she turns way out of the way and gets her horse to where she's not even first in line for the ball anymore. And the other team slips in there and gets it. Hey, whoa! Paige has got some amazing long arms out there, and she could get the, somebody's racket from a long way out. There's another one where both red players are on the ball carry. They hit it out of the player's racket, and it goes back to right where the blue player, spare blue player is. And they don't have a chance to get back to it first or to mark up that other player. 20 seconds to make this one count. Levy gets the ball knocked out of her racket. Stephanie's going to come up with all oh, this. Levy's going to Oh, watch out. Watch out. They're turning on the ball. I'll watch the blue player that hit the ball out of the racket. They're out in front of the pack right there. When she hits the ball out of the racket, she's not first in line for it anymore, and she should mark up a player. She could have marked up that player that just hit it out, but since she turns the other way, she should be going back to one of these other players to mark them up, and she does not. Oh, good play by Stephanie. So here, 
uh, pass is thrown and it becomes loose right then, but it's actually knocked or deflected away and goes right out of bounds. But as soon as it came loose, all the players should have been doing their jobs. He is racing down the field, flips it into Zach. Zach leaves it on the ground. Zach may be first back to it. He's going to have to fight for it. No race will go down. It's got batted around, but it's still on the ground. I think it's in midfield now because all the players are going for it. It's got kicked again. This time it's in a black rack. And he okay, the uh, black team we're watching. So the black one just threw it the goal, hit the post, and bounced back in. And the black one is first in line for his team to it. And I don't think he goes all out to keep the orange player from picking up the ball because he she passes him up and gets up and has a chance to pick it up. She actually misses it. And then after it's missed, everybody has a go for it. And it just turns out that the black team is able to get out in front and get it first. Orange, I think. So they give it a throw. Oh, no, there's a three. Flips it right to Daniel. Daniel tries to flip it back, but it goes over to Braxton's head. And now the twos are going to fight for it. Daniel flips it there. The teams that we see on the camera did everything right. There the ball becomes loose, and that black number three is first to it. He turns on it, turns around to it, and does keep their first in line from picking it up. And by the time the other black player comes on the screen, he probably wasn't marking him up early, but he did actually keep the other orange player from picking it up. Throws it up nice and high. Oh, you can't really count on bounces on this field. This field is getting really choppy. And she's got it again, though, right? Okay, here's one where we're watching the team with white helmets. Pretty much nobody did the right thing. Nobody was up there to connect with their 10 yards. So when the ball becomes loose, nobody's in position already. When the player comes up from a long way off, she does keep prevent that black player from getting it first time, but no other players are marking anybody up and nobody is going all out to get the ball. Out of the end zone by Olivia Udrich on popcorn, and she's left her bounce on the ground. It's loose. Could be a... No, her teammates going back for it. The white helmet... Okay, here's a case where the white helmets that we see uh, are doing the right thing, although the black helmets really weren't putting up much defense. When the ball becomes loose, there's a spare white player closest to it and she does go down and picks it up. The 30 yard line bounce. It came with a pretty good bounce but she didn't get it on the first go around. Ball loose on the ground and it could be stolen. It is. Fulton had it in and out of his racket. Just watch the Olivia had a racket on her. She missed her bounce so it became loose. It's still out in front of her where she's supposed to go all out to keep that other player from riding her off, and she went for the ball rather than doing that, but the other player missed it. Here, she wasn't first in line. Well, she probably was first in line for it, but had to turn back to do anything. But there, she when she is first in line for it, she does ride the player off, actually keeps him from picking it up twice, but then she pulls off of him, and he picks it up. Hey. It up for herself. Oh, did couldn't quite get to it. Looks like it could be a steal. No, Jennifer's going down for the low star team. Jennifer, hey, here's there. another one where the uh, nobody is guarding up the spare player that the ball just happens to be closest to. So um, when it becomes loose, it's right in front of the white player, and nobody's by her, and she picks it up. Uh, Rainey hanging on to the ball. Oh, now she's not. Her horse took a really nice turn, but it was a little late after she'd already hit the ball. Okay, watch this white player coming into the screen from the left. When she comes onto the screen, the ball's on the ground, and whether she's first in line for it or not first in line for it, she doesn't go all out for the ball, and she doesn't mark up a player at any point. Take 
Harris will throw it up backwards away from all the pressure. And it's on the ground. It could be a steal. He's going to go down. He's okay, here's a real quick one. When the orange player misses their uh, 10 yard penalty throw and rides past it, and a black player comes up there and just picks it up. Not a problem. Okay, the orange player threw it out to the Palomino horse and missed it. And the red player beside them had already passed it up. But the red player coming up on it uh, actually picks it up. So they did their job. Dory's got it. Bounces. She misses. It's on the floor. Tessa's going. Danny, come on, Bobby. Okay, first, we'll watch the ball carrier. She is make, or bringing it out of the end zone and uh, misses her bounce. And when she misses her bounce, she's still first in line for her team for it. And she decides to try for it rather than uh, trying to keep the other player from picking it up and when she turns to try for it she has to get out of his way and so she misses that fortunately he missed it for her but she also it wasn't because of her what she should have done is stayed facing forward and as he came up to the ball then ridden it real rode him off the ball to keep him from picking it up um, then the uh her the red player in midfield they're over here kind of in the center of the field uh they were open for a pass that's correct then when she misses her bounce it becomes loose he's kind of up against the player but moving him towards the ball now he slips back between that other player and the ball but instead of staying back keeping that player off the ball he goes up and challenges the player that's trying to pick it up on the Palomino horse and neither one of them pick it up so the player that he didn't stay back and mark up uh, ended up picking up the ball. We're watching the red team and we'll watch the first, the, the player on the black horse that's closest to the camera, the red player that's closest to the camera. The orange team is throwing it to the Palomino horse and they don't connect on the pass. The ball comes loose right just behind where the Palomino horse is. So the red player has really passed it up. Um, so she's not first in line for the ball so she should be marking up that Palomino horse so he doesn't get to the ball to keep him off the ball until she's back first in line for the ball she is kind of between him and the ball there for a while but just doesn't ever look back for him doesn't mark him up and when the ball gets in their range he is able to go after it so she did not mark him up once they pass it up, though, she does get down and picks it up. So that part, she did her job okay. Time to watch the red player that is in the middle of the pack right now. The ball is being thrown up to the Palomino horse. He reaches for it, and it goes to the ground kind of behind both those horses there, but where that player that we're watching is first in line for it. And so she's supposed to go all out to keep that orange player from picking it up. She goes down and tries for it, but misses it. And the orange player that she should have been keeping to pick it up gets a go at it. Fortunately for her, he missed it also. Then after he's missed it, she doesn't mark up somebody right away. But then when everybody else has passed it up and she's first in line for it, she goes for it and does prevent that orange player from picking it up and her team eventually ends up getting it. Now we're going to watch the player on the red team that's wearing a blue shirt. Uh, the ball is out in front of him. 
uh, it's just being passed, so he is not first in line for it. Should be marking up that white horse. He never really marks up that white horse or even tries to mark up the white horse. His other player is going for it, just missed it. So now he is first in line for it and should be going all out to keep. And actually, as a player that his other teammate didn't mark up was going for it first, but he should be trying to keep the white horse from picking it up, and he does keep her from picking it up. But then after they pass it up, and he's not first in line for it again, he doesn't mark her up again, which he should do. In fact, he also almost rides off his own player to keep her from picking it up, but she does get it. But he should have been marking up that white player from then so she could have picked it up with nobody beside her. It's hard to tell them, but the the black player with the black shirt and the on the light colored horse is carrying the ball down the field right next to the sideline, and she throws it back into midfield. And as it turns out, so it's loose ball. It's out in front of a blue player who is riding a black player off, and she is first in line for it. Goes all out to get it, and actually picks it up. So she did everything right. Okay, this is the last one, and um, it's the ball goes down in a pack. It's basically a cluster, but what you don't see, and we're watching the blue play, the blue team. What you don't see is re anybody ever marking up a player or going out for the ball, all out for the ball, to keep the other player from picking up the ball when they're closest to it. And this is the last clip in this series on loose ball situations.